I'm Larry Anglosano at Aviation Consumer Magazine. Ohio-based Workhorse Group, which builds electric vehicles for UPS, FedEx, and Brinks, to name a few, thinks it's finally time to replace a traditional helicopter. That's exactly what it set out to do with the Surefly VTOL personal octocopter. It was showing off the machine at the Innovation Center at AirVenture Oshkosh this past summer, and for this documentary, the Surefly's project manager, Patrick Connors, gave us a close look. What we have here is an electric VTOL, vertical takeoff on landing, octocopter, and we're basically reinventing the helicopter, which has been around in its same design for 78 years. There are some characteristics of the helicopter that aren't ideal. One, it's expensive. Two, they're very expensive to maintain. And three, they make a lot of noise. So those were the three characteristics we were going after to replace. So the power plant here is a two liter, four cylinder engine, and it's connected to two 100 kilowatt redundant generators to generate electricity for the uh, three phase alternating current motors. The propellers are fixed to each motor. We have eight motors and we can independently control each motor and propeller. And that allows us to do pitch and yaw very, very similar to a traditional small drone. It's just a larger scale. It's all carbon fiber. The arms can be folded down so we can stow it in a garage. And it's designed for short hops up to 70 miles. And it can fly at approximately 75 miles per hour. And the beautiful thing about having generating your own electricity is once you land, you don't have to plug it in for your next flight. All you have to do is fill the gas tank and you start off. The Surefly has two modes of flight. The first mode is autonomous mode, uh, where we have a GPS system very similar to an automobile, except we talk to many more satellites, at least 11 satellites, so we know exactly where we're positioned on Earth and how high we are. Um, the second mode is manual flight mode where you can take over from autonomous mode simply by grabbing the joystick and changing pitch and yaw, uh, altitude up and down on a toggle switch. And as you can see, it has a lot more room than a small helicopter on the inside. The, the fuselage is 100% carbon fiber along with the arms, which can be folded down. And we, the propellers are fixed pitch propellers, also carbon fiber. And the payload is 400 pounds, but we're trying to get that up to 500 pounds. It's all about power to weight ratio. And this is the first prototype that we've built. And it will be flying in a tethered, unmanned position by the end of the year. Okay, so the Surefly's target price is $200,000, and we are taking pre-orders now on our website. Uh, you basically put $1,000 down, which holds your spot in line. Obviously, we're a couple years out from getting certification, FAA certification. Um, so we're located in Cincinnati, Ohio, and if you want more information on this, you can hit our website at workhorse.com.